Hello friends, how are you? Welcome back to ABC with Gersh TV. Hooray. Hooray! Oh friends, I have missed you so much and I am so happy to have you back watching me again. Are you ready for some fun? Remember what I said, friends. Your time with me will be longer. So mum and dad can go and do boring work whilst you and me have loads of fun together. How does that sound, friends? Does that sound good? Yay! <laughs> Are you excited for today's video? Yay! Yay! I'm excited too, friends. Oh, let's get started with doing some counting. <gasps> How does that sound, friends? Yay! I can't hear you. How does that sound, friends? Yay! <laughs> okay, we are going to start counting by using our fingers. Ooh. We are going to use our fingers to count up to 10. Do you think you can do that special job with me, friends? Yay! I thought so. Let's start the fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Slowly. Are you ready to count your fingers slowly with me? Let's go really, really slow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and normal, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well done, friends. Oh, you did amazing job. I am so proud of you, friends. Give yourself a clap. Woo! So, God gave us 10 fingers all together. Isn't that amazing? What do we use our hands for? Hmm. Let's have a think. We wash our hands. We shake hands with new people that we meet. We give our friends high fives. <laughs> we hug our mummies and daddies, brothers and sisters, and aunties and uncles. Ah, oh, give yourself a hug. Oh. We pray with our hands. We use our hands to pray to our wonderful Lord and Saviour 
as we close our eyes, we wave with our hands, hello and goodbye. We use our hands for all kinds of things, but God wants us to be so kind with our hands. Can you think of how you can be unkind with your hands? When you push someone, when you slap someone, when you do bad things with your hands that God created for us all, that makes God really sad. So we should always use our hands for God to glorify God because that makes him happy. So today I want you to think about how God created all your fingers and all together your hands and how you can use them to be kind, to give a hug, to give a high five, <laughs> to give a handshake and to pray to our Lord and Saviour, our God, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Did you hear that friends? I wonder what is that sound? <gasps> it is my special bag <gasps> wow have a look at my bag what is making so much noise <laughs> have you got a noisy bag if you have a noisy bag can you get that bag and shake it with me <laughs> go on friends grab that bag and shake it with me Yay! One more time! Ah, this is my special bag. Would you like to know what's inside my special bag? Okay, okay, okay. Before you know what's inside my special bag, we need to sing the What's Inside My Bag song. Okay. Are you ready to sing with me? All right, friends, let's go. What's inside the bag? What's inside the bag? What's inside the bag? With a one, two, three, and what's inside the bag? What's inside the bag? What's inside the bag? With a one, two, Free. Yay! Let's see what is inside my special bag. Ooh, listen to that noise. Oh, it's making so much noise. It sounds like things are clacking together. <laughs> Let's see what's inside Gershie's bag. Are you ready, friends? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, I have a cube inside my bag. Look at the shape of a cube. From the front, it looks like a square with one two, three, four sides to it. Wow. And one, two, three, four edges to it. But that's how much a square has. I'm holding a cube. <sighs> that has many sides to it and oh, 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 I can see a letter in my cube. K, 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 
Rebecca, can you say it with me, friends? K, K, K. Who can remember what K is in the biblical alphabet? Have a think. It is K. K for commandments. K, K, commandments. K for commandments. K, K, commandments. Hooray! Ah, oh, friends, you are working so hard and I am so proud. Now, friends, I would like to show you a very special book. Have a look at my very special book. Wow. He's got the whole world in his hand. Oh. Are you ready to look through it with me, friends? It's a peekaboo box, so when I open the page, Oh my goodness! Are you ready to look through this exciting book with me, friends? Yay! I hope you are! Now, let's sing together. He's got the huge spinning planet in his hands. He's got the bright twinkling stars in his hands. He's got a beautiful rainbow in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got large pointy mountains in his hands. He's got big bubbly rivers in his hands. He's got tall swaying trees in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got happy snappy sharks in his hands. He's got wibbly wobbly jellyfish in his hands. He's got flippy flappy seals in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. <laughs> He's got cheeky chatty chimps in his hands. He's got prowling growling lions in his hands. He's got loud stumpy elephants in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got little bouncy babies in his hands. He's got great big grown-ups in his hands. He's got every one of us in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. <laughs> Friends, that was fantastic. The life of every creature and the breath of all people are in God's hands. Job 12 and 10. God has every one of us, every single thing in the palm of his hands and this book actually comes from a fantastic song I would like to sing with you. Would you like to sing with me friends? Yay! I can't hear you. Yay! Okay let's sing. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands he's got the stars and the moon in his hands he's got the sun and the rain in his hands he's got all the weathers in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands He's got the bees and the butterflies in his hands. He's got the plants and the trees in his hands. He's got all the beautiful creations in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got you and me in his hands. He's got mom and dad 
In his hands he's got brother and sister In his hands he's got the whole world in his hands God has got the whole world in his hands Now it is time to look at our special, special book Our children's bible Where all God's wonderful stories all his creations, all the people that lived great lives for God are in our special book, the Children's Bible. Let's see what story we are going to read about today. So, we have already looked at the story of how the world began and then we looked at the story of Adam and Eve and then after we looked at the story of Adam and Eve we looked at Noah's Ark so we have read one, two, three stories already from our children's bible Wow! Now we're going to read one more, which makes four stories in total. Let's see what story we're going to read today. <gasps> Abraham and Sarah. Oh, let's sit back, relax, and listen to the story of Abraham and Sarah. I hope you're ready friends for this amazing story from the Bible. Abraham was a rich man who lived in the city of Haran with his wife Sarah. They were both old and to their great sadness had never had children. One day God said to Abraham, I want you to go to the land of Canaan. There I will make you the father of a great nation. Abraham didn't understand what God meant, but he always did what God told him to do. Soon he started out for Canaan with Sarah, his nephew Lot, and his wife, and all his servants, and his herds of sheep and goats. It was a very long journey, but at last they reached the new land and put up their tents. At first there was plenty of grass and water for Abraham's herds of sheep and goats and for Lot's herds also. But as the years passed, the herds grew bigger and bigger and there wasn't food for all of them. It's time for us to part, Abraham, said Lot. You can choose where you want to go. I'll go down to the valley. There's plenty of good grass and water there, said Lot. I'll stay here, on the hills, said Abraham, although he knew the food and water wasn't so good. Lot and his wife said goodbye to Abraham and Sarah and led their sheep down the valley. God again promised Abraham that he would make his family into a great nation. One hot afternoon, some years later, when Abraham was sitting in his tent, he saw three men crossing the hills. When they came nearer, he went to meet them. Come to my tent, Abraham said to the strangers. You can wash and rest here and have a meal. 
Sarah and the servants made fresh bread, roasted some meat on the fire and gave the free men bowls of milk and cheese. When their feast was over, one of the men said, we have a message from God for you. You and Sarah will have a baby boy. We're both much too old to have children, laughed Sarah. But the months went by and Sarah gave birth to a son. She called him Isaac. Abraham and Sarah were delighted that they had a child at last. And Abraham remembered that God had told him he would be a father of a great nation. Wow! Wasn't that a lovely story, friends? Yay! It absolutely was. This story shows that God will always keep his promises. It may not happen straight away or when you think it will happen. Oh, but one thing I know about our great God, that it will happen in his perfect timing. And Abraham and Sarah had their beautiful baby boy Isaac at the perfect time because it was God's time and they truly did have a great nation. Friends, I absolutely loved spending time with you today. You did so well and learned so much, friends. Oh, friends, I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Well done for all your hard work, friends, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, my friends.